What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. I'm super, super charged up to talk about our new super duper rapid, super duper rapid charger. And some standard charging solutions for some of you who like the slow charge and all. But it's right here. We're gonna go over it and it's coming right up after this. So this is what we have here. We have 24 charging slots on this super duper charger. Now, 12 of them happen to be M18. Half of them, or 12 of them, happen to be M12. Now, all 24 slots won't charge simultaneously. They will charge 12 batteries at a time. If you have an M18 battery here on this rapid charger, once it finishes charging, it will then charge the M12 battery if need be. Okay, so you're able to charge 12 batteries at a time. 24 in total on this super duper charging solution. I will say, there's a lot of weight here. That's why we're gonna talk about the dimensions of the super duper charger and why this super duper charger was constructed. It was engineered and then built. Milwaukee Tough, right? So we wanted a solution that would allow us not to have all these chargers side by side. Like, like the inner city and in center city, we needed to go up like a high rise. And that's, that's the solution we came up with. So what we have is four sides, three chargers with six bays on each side, 24 charging bays. Now, let's talk about the draw. Let's talk about what you need to power the super duper charger. If you were to fill every slot, okay, and have every charger working simultaneously, okay, so, 12 chargers running at the same time. We're talking about an amp draw, okay, of 28 and we'll round up, 28 and a half amps. So you're, what you're gonna do is, we have this split off, we have it split off into two feeds for the super duper charger. We have three, four, five rapid chargers that will draw, they're drawing two and three quarter amps a piece for a total of 13 and three quarter amps. So you'd be safe on a 15 amp circuit with those five. And then we have seven standard chargers at 2.1 amps a piece for a total of 14.7 amps. Close to a 15 amp circuit um, maximum. We're in a commercial setting for this, so you know, all of, our, all of our circuits are 20 amps and greater. So we're, we're not close. But you're looking at a total amp draw of 28 and a half amps if they were used simultaneously. That's the input side of each unit that's on here. Pretty cool. Now, we're looking at a total, you know, we have this much weight hanging off one side of the super duper charger. If we didn't have a, sh a sturdy base here, I don't know why there's fingerprints on here. I mean, I have an idea, somebody touched the daggone thing, right? This could tilt tilt tip over. But what we have here is a 19 inch wide base by 19 inch wide base, okay? The tower of power, okay, stands 24 inches, 24 and three quarter inches tall, and each side seven inches wide. Okay, so each one of the chargers sits, it's not too much excess material, okay? All of the wires are routed up behind their, its respective charger into the plunum here. This is a plunum, a box, okay? And then the cords are routed down, and then we could show you, we could show you the other side. Now, I will say this. With all of the batteries on here, this thing can be mighty heavy, okay? So, you know, I wouldn't suggest trying to lift it. 
with all the batteries on it, but we do have a built-in handle up here at the top, so you can carry this super duper charger to and from the job site. What we can do is, I'll strip off all the batteries. When this was engineered, we wanted to make sure it was stable, because those 12 amp hour batteries, they're, he they're hefty, they're hefty. So I want to illustrate that even when we have the weight stripped off from every other side of the super duper charger, you'll see we have three, oh, you know what we're going to do? We'll swap this out just so you can see, okay? We have three 12 amp hour batteries and three 4 amp hour batteries. You can see there's no, there's no worry of it tipping over. Okay. That's why we went with the 19 inch wide base. I mean, this is a lot of charging power. And this is the thing. Let's, let's be real about this. These are all chargers that I've accumulated over years and years of buying Milwaukee tools. And the reality is, is that I love the idea of the supercharger, the new supercharger. We could talk about that. Let us know down in the comment section below if you kind of want us to compare the supercharger to the super duper charger here. But the reality is, is that even though any HO battery should be charged within an hour or less, with the super duper charger, you can only charge one of those at a, at a time. And, you know, when you have multiple people on a job site or a crew, you don't want people having to fight over charging slots, okay? If you think of it this way, this single rapid charger takes 90 minutes to charge a 12 amp hour battery. We've done testing. It's right over here, okay? Go and check it out. And this is the thing. The supercharger takes about an hour, a little bit more depending on the temperature of the battery. Let's just say you had to charge multiple 12 amp hour batteries, okay? At that point, it would take the supercharger two hours, okay? But with the super duper charger here, you can get the same charging duty done in 90 minutes. And if you had three 12 amp hour batteries to charge, it would take the supercharger an hour, but it would take the super duper charger 90 minutes. The reality is, is that these, super, these, these rapid chargers that are on here, they're, they're chargers that I already had, I already owned. And quite frankly, I needed a better way to organize them instead of having them all flopping around and cords all over the place. And, you know, this is now a nice, tidy charging solution. Now, if you, if you had, <laughs> if you had, you know, a job site and you can set this up as a charging station, it makes sense. If you need a convenience, okay, I don't know how convenient this is to go from service call to service call. You're not going to want to tote this around. In that instance, the supercharger makes 100% sense. But if you needed a maximum charging solution, a maximum power, a tower of power solution for a job site, the job site of the future where all tools are cordless, you're going to want the tower of power. You're going to want the super duper charger. Okay, we could unplug it to transport. Okay, and then we'll, we'll just wrap the base here. Okay, and you'll see. There's a handle on the top. Okay, let you pick it up and carry it. Spin it around. You could drop it down on the floor. You could drop it in a corner. Okay, you could drop it wherever, wherever there's an outlet. And guess what? It's going to get your charger duties done. You probably already have a bunch of these rapid and standard chargers from Milwaukee. 
maybe consider organizing them like this into a super duper charger. Let us know down in the comment section below. Do you want us to, to, to create some type of media where we, we go through this step by step or give you dimensions or show you step by step how to build this? We wanted to just go over the idea of building a super duper charger with you and see if there's any interest in us doing a step by step. We want to know. Leave it down in the comment section below. Smash the like button if you like the super duper charger. If you want, share some pictures. Tag us on Twitter of your super duper charger if you got one. And make sure to leave it down in the comment section as well. Do you want a super duper charger? Do you think it's overkill? Do you think it's just right for your job site? We want to know. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here.